Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. I'm here with Carly from All the Pretty Books today and we are going to do a shop tour of Barnes & Noble. Let's check out what Harry Potter merchandise they have. Oh look, first item, Time Magazine cover. That's not Harry Potter. I fixed it. Angrily. <laughs> 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 well, they have a good selection of Harry Potter books here in the young adult section. I wonder what printing the Sorcerer's Stone is. Let's see. 101st. 101. Wow. Wow. Actually, kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's low for Order of the Phoenix. That's really wow. low. For a book that came out in 2005. I mean, three. <laughs> <laughs> We're professional. <laughs> and this is interesting. Carly was pointing out that she hasn't really seen the audiobooks recently for sale in stores. And CDs. That's really interesting. I wonder what print this is. I really need a life. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm bored. Barnes & Noble kind of has stuff spread out throughout their stores. So there's some stuff in kind of the gaming area, then there's usually stuff in the toy section. So definitely check all throughout the store for what they have for Harry Potter related merchandise. But let's see what they have here. I like how they display some of the Noble Collection items, like in like display cases. I really like these. They have um, the Harry Potter journals, $24.95. Here's a Marauder's Map tumbler. Oh, that's cool. It does have the footprints. Uh -huh. And this is $23.95. And they have an umbrella. What is, is this? Oh, it is the Marauder's Map. I solemnly, yeah, I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good for $19.95. I'd open it, but that's bad luck. Here is that book and set by the Noble Collection, and it is $95.95. These are so, so fun. These are the new out of print Harry Potter socks. These are amazing. They're the cover artwork by Mary Grand Pre in sock form. I mean, seriously, that's amazing. Have you seen these socks? No. Oh, they're I haven't. so awesome. I love those socks. I love Dobby. <laughs> they have a Luna one, but she's hard to find. Oh, yeah. They're really fun, like, seriously. How much are these? $4.99. Oh, that's actually like, less that's than I thought deal. it would be. Yeah. And they're super cute. Noble Collection Hedwig statue. Oh, she's actually up here. Here she is out of the box. Hedwig is $75.95. Here's a tote by Out of Print. It features the Mary Grand Prix cover artwork of Sorcerer's Stone for $17.99. This is the Defense Against the Dark Arts game. What is that? Wait, wait, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like this on the back though. That's fine, it's just a game. It comes in like a chest. Huh. And it's $24.99. Cool journal. Oh, Ooh, oh, look that's, at, that's actually really cool. Oh, it's, oh. Interesting. So it has clever graph paper as well as just normal writing paper. Yeah. It's like an all-in-one journal. How much is that? $9.95. That's actually not bad. I'm impressed. So it looks like this is probably the main Harry Potter section. They have some books out here, some Lego sets, Noble Collection wands. Find anything good? They have these little Lego books. I've not seen these before, actually. It's like a handbook with little figurines. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, they've got several. They don't sell the Noble Collection wands in the collector boxes or the Ollivander boxes, um, but they do have the, the clear window option, which allows you to get the wand for a little bit cheaper. The individual wands are $29.95. And then they have various packages where you could get five different wands from the series, Harry, Hermione, Ron, Voldemort, and Dumbledore, all five for $99.95. They have a wand and Marauder's map combo, $59.95. Organizing. <laughs> uh, yeah, Niffler is fourteen ninety nine, and he's actually really cute. I love Picket, the bow truckle, twenty four ninety nine. Some of the other plush that they have are the Monster Book of Monsters, which is really really cool. And this is thirty nine ninety five. You can get a Noble Collection one stand for twenty nine ninety five. They also have Hogwarts. It has the Hogwarts crest. 
I have to admit, I'm kind of surprised at the selection. It's like really small. This seems to be what's common though. Like this is what my Barnes & Noble usually has. The Barnes & Noble near me is like loaded with Noble collection items. I wish mine was. Wait, is this Luna Lovegood? Yeah. She has a magic Yeah, exceptionally too. ordinary. Cool. That's fun. Super very. Oh, look at the Spectro Specs. There's a matching bag for it, just not here. This is $35.95. Here's another wallet, Gryffindor wallet. $35.95. Oh, it's a matching bag. By Loungefly. How much is that? It is... Sixty-three ninety-five. Got glasses. Oh, that's that. actually really fun. The little yeah. glasses in the in the pocket. Like it's a good bag. Look at the interior. It's like the Hogwarts letter thing, and it's a tote. Oh, cool. I'm waiting and for my letter like to Hogwarts. Interesting. For that's a lot less expensive than I thought it would be. They have Dumbledore's original wand and the Elder Wand combo set, forty nine ninety nine. You can get the Mattel dolls here as well, nineteen ninety nine. Here's a Buckbeak plush by Noble Collection, twenty nine ninety five. And they have Sorting Hats for twenty four. <laughs> <laughs> and they have Sorting Hats for twenty four. <laughs> Twenty four ninety. I know this. <laughs> and they have sorting hats for twenty four ninety five. They have a good amount of Legos here as well. Good selection. Are you a Lego person? I'm thinking about becoming one. They just they're so neat. Like the sets are so cool. Yeah, the Harry Potter sets are really, really cool. They have the night bus. And the like the Whomping Willow one is so awesome. Yes. And then they have the graveyard. And that one is nineteen ninety nine. The first task. Yeah. Cool. I'm like really considering this. <laughs> Fancy. The Magical Guide to the Wizarding World in Legos. Really? That's awesome. I know. Oh, and it's like the Lego sets. Yeah. Welcome to Hogwarts. Look. I'm way too excited. I look, think... look, look. Cool. I think you're becoming a Legoer. I think I'm just a nerd. Oh, look. Peter Pettigrew. You have to admit, like, who doesn't want that? So when you first kind of look at the selection, I was very disappointed because I'm used to a massive selection of Harry Potter things. But then when you like dive into it, there's actually a lot to, to choose from. So definitely check out and browse your, your Harry Potter sections at Barnes and Noble. <laughs> Chocolate wands. Ooh, the elder wand. They're actually expensive. How much are the birdie bots? That pack is eight dollars. I'd rather go to Wizarding World and get the actual box. Yeah, the replica box. There's some pops over here. I wonder if they have. Oh, they do. They've got a ton of Harry Potter pops. Oh, awesome. Ooh, Barnes Noble exclusives. They have the Hagrid birthday pop. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> That's just like the best. This one actually kind of creeps me out a little bit. Play Baron, yeah. yeah. Look, there's just a random bow truckle. It's a Funko plushie. It's $9.95. This changes all the time, but right now they're doing a three for 20 on Funko Pops. That's pretty cool. They have this set too. They still have this Oh, they set. still have this one? Oh my gosh. And this one's even neater, I think. Quidditch World Cup set, that's yes. awesome. This one is very cool. This Newt's Commander coming out of the case exclusive. I love him. And this one I'm on the fence about. Yeah, I feel like people were really excited about that and I'm a little disappointed in it. But hey, if you're a pop collector, you gotta catch them all, you gotta collect them all. So keep collecting. Well, even though it was a little bit disappointing at first, it turned out to be a pretty cool selection of items that they had here. Barnes Noble. <laughs> <laughs> Iron and short. You can also check barnesandnoble.com for different merchandise items. They have a larger selection there as well. And if you don't have a Barnes & Noble near you, that's also a good option. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything else, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also reach me on Instagram at The Potter Collector or Twitter at Potter Collector. Carly, thank you so much for yes. being a part of this. Tell people where they can find you. I'm Carly with All the Pretty Books. You can find me on YouTube at All the Pretty Books, Instagram All the Pretty Books, and Twitter All the Pretty BO2. BO2. Okay. <laughs> well, that happened, but it did. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep, keep collecting. collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, wait.
where'd he go? 